The story of a cappuccino is all bound up with the performance, the noise, the steam, and the showmanship. But the craft begins a long time before the barista starts steaming. For Dow Egberts, from picking the cherries, to grading, to blending and roasting, it's all about producing the very best coffee. A cappuccino starts with a great espresso, and then the milk's the star of the show. It's become the high street's favorite tipple. What does your cappuccino mean to you? When it's properly done, like, like a flat white, it's just the best experience in the world. Sunday morning, um, papers, relaxed, friends, yeah, that kind of stuff. I actually think it's quite, quite relaxing, even though it's got caffeine in it. I actually find it, it kind of settles me a bit, I think. In the UK, we drink more than five million cappuccinos and lattes a week. It's a treat we can all enjoy. So maybe it's no surprise that coffee itself is the second most traded product in the world after oil. Manizales in Colombia is one of the world's finest coffee growing regions. 1,500 metres above sea level in the volcanic soils of the Andes, it's the combination of cold and altitude that produces top quality Arabica beans. What makes this Colombian coffee so special is that each cherry is hand-picked. For the production of coffee, what we need is to have uh, good soil, good uh, environment, good weather, but also the hands of, of people because uh, the process is very important. It's a national pride. More than drinkers, we are producers, and that's what goes in our blood. Four, five generations, so 150 years or so, of people working and teaching the new generations of how to do it. How do you like your cappuccino? Oh, it's got to be strong and it's got to be frothy. That's the main thing. There's no froth, there's something wrong. No chocolate because of the upper lip problem. <laughs> 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 I don't care about the moustache. <laughs> the foam on a cappuccino should be dense, the air bubbles tightly packed. The trick is to judge the right temperature. The foam is all important, but it's the quality and origin of the beans that defines the taste. These Colombian coffee farmers aren't huge corporations. They're often small holders with just a few hectares of land. Dow Egberts works with organizations like Oot Certified to help farmers develop their plantations and to get the best price for their coffee. The aim is to ensure they maintain a good standard of living for their family and the local community. Horacio Montoya, he is a very typical uh, example of a uh, a coffee producer in Colombia. He, he feels very proud of what he is doing because coffee for him is his life. The processing of the coffee in Colombia is mostly done by hand. The coffee cherries are washed, hulled and fermented, then laid out to dry in the sun. Colombian coffee is like, is like the people, it's sweet, it's mild, it's kind, it's complex. People in Colombia, uh, we're happy. I think that the coffee is happy also. Wherever you are in the world, coffee is all about relationships. It's made with passion and you drink it with passion. <laughs> The very best quality coffee is grown in far-flung places and brought back home to fuel conversations the world over. It's coffee's gift to us all.